Hi Taurus, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for January. Um, so this is someone you're on a break from, their separation, breakup energy here. And the reason this energy is coming through strongly is they're very focused on you. Um, they're grieving the situation and they're wanting to make a return. They're wanting communication. I'm not sure you will be receptive. That's for more than half of you because I did ask if you knew this person and we have two of wands temperance. So it's a 50-50 here. Um, so your guides are saying yes, some of you know who this person is and others of you, um, this is in your energy. Let's work our way through this. We have a Virgo here, Leo. And another very interesting thing here is the Major Arcana um, representing who this person is. I've so far, I haven't seen anything like this. We have a Wheel of Fortune, Hanging Man, Judgment, the World, the Moon, and North Node. I think this is the only person that we have North Node coming through here for. And you are the 10th sign I'm doing. And then we have Star and Lovers, Tower. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine major arcana in your spread. Wow, I I think this person's going through a lot of changes. Some of you, this person may be going through a divorce, but they're closing a lot of cycles here and they're, um, they're dealing with some major... <laughs> they're feeling stuck. Some of you, they feel that their blessings have been blocked here. If this was a past person and they're wanting a second chance here with you. They want to start over with you. I'm not sure that this person's being the most expressive here with the moon though. Some of you, there may be distance or travel involved or there may be a race culture difference with the world. That's for a few of you. But there may be, it's sort of that star-crossed lovers energy I'm getting for some of you. But this person is very focused on what they do for a living, perhaps trying to get their finances right. Um, very determined energy coming through but they seem to be running into a lot of blockages here. Very heavy energy. Whatever is happening in their life right now is faded. It's meant to be. The, these are changes outside of their control here. Where and how you may meet, we have Taurus, Scorpio, Three of Pentacles, Tower, Five of Cups. Those of you that don't know this person, it's it can be through work, but there's an element of surprise or there's unexpected energy surrounding this meeting. Some of you, it can be sort of an unexpected event that happens that leaves you a bit disappointed. And you run into this person, there's some collaboration. Um, you're collaborating with them in some way. But this Five of Cups can also be this person's energy with the moon, where they're a bit low at the time you meet. But let's see what this oracle, for those of you that don't know, See, this spread is not negative. It's not. Um, but those of you that have been through a lot of ups and downs with this person, you may, it's sort of, I don't want to repeat this over again. But if this is a newer energy, um, listen to your intuition when it comes to this. If it is a newer energy, it's very promising here. We have 44, promotion, new business or job recognition. Yeah, three of pentacles, second house. Can be running errands, it can be through work. Um, let's get one more because it is a general reading. So not everyone is going to meet through work. Dance for joy number 50. A very joyful time in your life. That's interesting. So one of you may be, you know, a bit down and distraught, whereas the other sort of having the time of their life. It's sort of this person's energy because your first impression of them is Jupiter and Leo. So this person, perhaps if you're getting over a past third party, um, this person really cheers you up here. Their energy is very uplifting. Yeah, a lot of fun to be around, if that is the case. We'll get oracle cards. Perhaps this will sort of give us more um, clarity around who this person may be. Um, and perhaps help you figure out if this is a past or new energy coming through. For your first impression, we have Quincunx, Jupiter, Leo, Star, Lovers, Ace of Pentacles. This person's center stage. Everyone's eyes 
right? Imagine Jupiter and Leo walking into a room paired with a star. This person is a star in their field. Um, they have star-like qualities. Everyone gravitates towards them is how you'll be seeing them. Some of you, this person is literally performing, right? With dance here. They're on stage. They can be some sort of creative expression. They do something in the public eye here. But usually Jupiter and Leo is a very performer, actor, right? That musician, perhaps. They're playing an instrument. But you'll see them as sort of distant, complex. You'll want to know more about them here with Quinn Kunks. But there's a strong physical attraction here um, for this person. And you'll see, you'll recognize that this is a, you'll see their value is what I'm trying to say. Even if they're not a performer, it can be someone who gets a lot of recognition at work here. For how they'll approach you, we have Gemini, 12th house, 10 of wands, 9 of pentacles, 8 of wands. Sort of a work scenario coming through again. They'll be hard at work, very slow moving person, but very dedicated and trustworthy. This person doesn't like to rush things, but they will, um, some of you there's travel involved again, Eight of Wands. They will be communicating, a lot of back and forth communication, text messages, social media. But this person initially may give off mixed signals with Gemini, that two face coming through. You know, one minute they're there, they're communicating, and the other minute they're sort of withdrawn but a lot of them they're withdrawing because they have a lot on their plate a very business focused and busy person coming through those of you if this is not describing someone you dealt with then this is a newer energy coming into your life so you don't know them for what kind of relationship you'll have, we have Saturn, Sixth House, Sextile, Four of Cups, Ace of Swords, King of Wands, Nine of Cups. I'll give you two scenarios. Those of you that know this person, I mentioned, this can be a bit of a selfish energy. Um, perhaps they require a lot of um, patience. You felt like you were serving them in some way or they took away, took a lot of energy effort from you yet you received a little in return so you're sort of closing yourself off from this person and they're still watching you from afar here wanting another chance with you wanting to work on things with you but a lot of you are not interested um the queen of wands is sort of not bothered here um for those of you that don't know this person um this person will have their eye on you they will be pursuing you um, this person likes a good chase here and they will not give up here on you. They'll keep trying. Um, this is very persistent energy and there's a lot of passion between the both of you. Some of you, if it's a newer person, the, the distance, if it's travel involved, that may be creating some initial issues here. This can stand the test of time with Saturn, sixth house, sextile, there's potential here for something beautiful to emerge from this, but it is, it will be difficult with Saturn. There will be some challenges. Some of you, it's external, the distance, but I think you both will be willing to put in work here to make this work. The common bond here, we have Libra, 10th house, 2nd house, 4 of wands, 4 of pentacles, page of pentacles. I'm seeing stability. We have a lot of earth coming through here. Um, so you both can be very business focused, very goal oriented. Um, a secure home life is very important to the both of you. But I'm seeing a couple, it's a power couple coming through. Um, if you, you can, I see children here. Some of you may already, if it's a past person, you may already have children. And there's finances intertwined, but you both can accomplish a lot materially here. Um, I'm seeing that. Let's get you this Kipper deck. Taurus singles. 33 concern. That's sort of your, it's similar to the Four of Cups here. Number 24, Thief. Yeah, you don't trust this person. For some of you, those of you that know them, Taurus singles, 34 occupation. Again, that three of pentacles, knight of pentacles. Some of you are meeting through work here. We have gift. Gift giving can be a love language here. I'm not sure. <laughs> 
you're wanting what this person is offering regardless of if you know them or not some of you are just a bit jaded here when it comes to your love life you're you're focused on your money here some of you i saw official person this may be a some per person in a position of authority here we have family room yeah we have child courthouse um courthouse host courthouse poverty some of you this was a divorce and you had a child with this person or someone has a child from a previous relationship marriage Some of you, a past connection is keeping you from moving forward. It's sort of coming through as a blockage here. Expectation. Yeah, you're... You have trust issues because of something that happened in the past or this person does. It's causing a lot of um, mistrust between the both of you. Let's see. This is the Island Time Wellness. Let's get a couple from this deck. Taurus Singles. Someone wants to move in with you. I'm getting that or move closer to you. We have clock. Need time takes time in time cycles. Time to heal progress. Taurus singles. Yeah, love, unconditional love, self love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Let's get one more. Okay the chaser so it's that runner chaser dynamic chaser and codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues some of you this is a past situation i don't see that here um, because i see this person being the chaser here if that's the case yeah some of you were engaged committed and this person was a cheat they're a snake there's a lot going on here taurus Let's get you these love cards. True love. Yeah, with true love, love, there is something promising coming towards you, Taurus. I see it, but I can't quite... There's a past energy making their presence known here as well. giving Woo! look at that right the offering and he's some of you are getting a gift a present a literal a ring proposal wow oh wow yeah look at that see if if you want a past person back then this will be a past person but if you're manifesting something brand new this is someone new um, Taurus, this is intimacy. All, all of your cards are luck um, and healing. We have, we have two healing. So yes, those of you wanting someone, an ex or past, I see someone coming back here and you both working on things together, um, right, with the two healing. But yeah, I see true love, someone brand new coming in for others of you. What deck? Okay, let's use this love fortune teller. Taurus singles. Undecided. That's your energy, Taurus. You're sort of in your own world. Perhaps very... Right? This energy is sort of occupation. Very dedicated and focused on 
what you do for a living here. Some sort of creative project for others of you, school. There's something you're very focused on here when it comes to your second house, 10th house. Taurus singles. Unrequited love. Yeah, wants you back. That's in regard. Oh, that's in regards to that past energy that perhaps put you in a third party, or they disappointed you in some way. <laughs> Taurus, who is this person? We have love bombing, making an apology. Okay, when you least expect it, this seems to be the newer person because there's obsessed with you. You've met your soulmate. Yeah. There's someone better. <laughs> so that will be this energy, I think. And I'll get a couple more for this. Reaching a compromise, overcoming obstacles together. Again, there's someone better. Divine timing. Yeah, this, the new energy or past, whatever, someone's stalking you online, perhaps obsessing, um, but I'm almost getting too separate with how spirit was dividing, taking us down two paths here. Um, so this is a past energy um, who's also obsessed with you, wanting you back. But there's someone else here that will be offering you true love, right? When you least expect it. This person may be observing, watching you from afar before they make their move. And with overcoming obstacles and reach a compromise, I was getting that. We had Saturn and sixth house for what kind of relationship you will have. Yeah, you both will need to compromise, work together. It's very, you know, it's almost opposite energies coming together, but this is also divinely guided and we have divine time, right? Um, this can work for sure. I see something very positive and it's almost a proposal here with this energy. Um, someone's giving you a gift. Others of you, the past energy, it can be a gift of an apology that you've been waiting for. But be careful because we have love bombing as well. Um, advice for Taurus. What advice do you have for Taurus in regards to this person coming towards them? I'm sorry, this reading is very scattered, but that's what happens when you have two energies coming through. Yeah, see, the gender doesn't matter here, but you have two people, a mature man, young man, so, and we have mature women. Some of you ladies, this person, perhaps the new person or the past person was younger, but most of you, it can be the new person. There may be an age difference here. We have be your authentic self. Being who others want you to be is a huge burden. It's time to take off your mask and reveal the real you. Wave your unique flag and love who you are. Mature man, possibly fair haired, who is hardworking and skilled with his hands. He is physically active, loves being outdoors, and is very considerate and trustworthy. All three of these um, images it's lighter hair so this can be someone with blonde or light hair or light complexion um, we have young man possibly fair-haired who is sociable and friendly but can be a lone wolf he is an he is an intelligent gentle soul who loves animals and children and being in nature 
yeah, they're both very outdoorsy energy, so both of the mature and the young. And for the men here looking for a woman or whatever your preference is, we have yeah, fair-haired, naturally intuitive, loves to travel, believes in herself and what she does. She is an entrepreneur, great mentor, and a free spirit. For the woman, this is representing you because you were coming through, right? She, Queen of Wands, very free-spirited, independent energy as well here. with your monology wow that fell through show the world the real you and we had be your authentic self Taurus singles you're very close to achieving your goals so there's a bigger picture full moon in Sagittarius conclusions are within reach sometimes it's sort of that Virgo energy being bogged down with the details it sort of wants to tell you to take a I think you're doing that you're very much in your side <laughs> this is reminds me of Sagittarius here um, but it's a lucky period here there's something if you're an entrepreneur some business Something you've been working on, full moon Sagittarius, that can be higher learning here as well. Learning a new skill. So it's saying keep going. It's sort of encouraging um, the universe. The, your, your guides are saying keep going. Um, Jupiter is usually a very positive omen when it makes its presence known here, right? It's saying it's a favorable period here for you in general. But yes... Taurus, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.